Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video lecture, we shall consider a numerical on transistor currents. So without wasting much time, let's consider a numerical. It says, calculate IC and IE for a transistor that has alpha is equal to 0 0.98, IV is equal to 100 microampere. Also determine the value of beta for the transistor. So let's consider this numerical. So let me solve let me consider the solution for this numerical so first let me write what are all the given parameters so here we have got alpha so alpha has been given in the numerical as 0.98 and there is also IB IB is nothing but the base current which is in terms of microamperes and it is 100 microamperes in this case so now what are the things that have been asked so let me write those things so here I have got IC so I need to find IC I don't know and I need to find IE that is the emitter current that needs to be found and we also have to find the value of beta which is the current gain so these are the tasks that need to be found in this numerical so how do I find before I proceed further so let me write the expression for the current uh, emitter current IE IE is equal to IC the collector current plus the base current IB so this is the general equation we have got which relates all the currents in the transistor that is emitter current collector current and the base current so this is the basic equation and I also have another equation which is IC IC is equal to beta times IB so this is another equation which is useful for me to find the parameters and I have got another expression which relates the parameters alpha and beta what is that beta is equal to alpha divided by 1 minus alpha so these are the three equations that are useful for me so I would call this as equation number one and I would call this equation as equation number two and I have got another equation that I call it as equation number three so now if I look over here I have got alpha alpha has been given as 0.98 if I can put alpha as 0.98 in this expression that is equation number three I can find the value of beta once I find the value of beta I'll put it in equation two and knowing the value of IB I can find the value of IC so that is uh, uh, using equation two once I know IC I'll put it over here the value of IC as well as IB so that I can find the emitter current so that is the way we'll proceed further so first what I do is I'll substitute I'll put alpha is equal to 0.98 in equation 3 if I do that I can find the value of beta beta is equal to alpha that is 0.98 divided by 1 minus alpha 1 minus 0.98 so make use of the calculator and we'll get if I solve that I'm going to get beta is equal to 49 so this is very important so the task was to find the value of beta so now we found the value of beta to be 49 the next task is I'll put this in equation number 2 so let me write substitute substitute this in equation 2 so that I can find the value of IC so let me write IC is equal to beta times IB beta is I just got it as 49 and what is IB IB is 100 micro amperes micro means 10 to the power minus 6 if I solve that I am going to get this as 4.9 milliamperes 
so we always keep collector current and emitter current in terms of milliamps and base current in terms of microamperes so let me write i see i found it to be 4.9 milliamps once we know the value of ic i can put it in equation 1 what is equation 1 let me check equation 1 is equal to ie is equal to ic plus ib so let me write substituting substitute this in equation 1 so what i what i'm going to get so let me write equation 1 first ie is equal to ic plus ib so what is the value of ic i just got it to be 4.9 milliamp plus ib ib is 100 microamp so if i add these two together i am going to get the value of ie which is going to be 5 milliamp so this is the third parameter we found in this numerical so this was the numerical about finding the color finding the transistor currents ic and ie also the current gain beta yes i have explained this numerical step by step i hope you people have understood if there are still any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and i'm happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching